The Big Red, two and a half games off the pace with four games to play, must now beat off a challenge from the Philadelphia Eagles, who threaten to move into second place. Pat Fisher, smallest regular in the NFL at five feet nine inches, is the key to the Cardinals' strong secondary. Pat's among the league leaders in interceptions. Injuries to the Cardinals haven't seriously affected Big Red's striking power, due in large measure to the attentive care furnished by trainer Jack Rockwell. Penn Scott gallops to the Eagle 31. When the drive stalls, Jim Bakken boots a 29-yard placement. St. Louis pulls even with the Eagles at 3-3. Another Eagles field goal makes it 6-3, but the Big Red has them in trouble in the second quarter. Israel Lang fumbles and Bill Coleman recovers for St. Louis. A handoff goes to John David Crow, who scores the 50th touchdown of his career. The Cardinals spring into a 10-6 lead. Number 55, Irv Goody, throws a vicious block as the Big Red cashes in on a fumble recovery. Billy Gambrell latches onto a Johnson pass and scrambles to the Eagles 33. Goody helps muzzle the Eagle Blitz as Johnson throws for distance. Bobby Joe Conrad has Glenn Glass beaten for a 33-yard touchdown. The Cardinals hike their advantage to 17-6 at halftime. The Eagles close in to 17-13 in the third quarter, but Johnson and the long bomb are a tough combination to beat. Bobby Joe Conrad pulls it in with one hand to score a 52-yard touchdown for a 24-13 lead. King Hill tries to get the Eagles on the comeback trail, but Cardinal safety Larry Wilson is the receiver of the overthrown pass. Larry maneuvers brilliantly to take advantage of alert downfield blocking for a 42-yard touchdown return. Cardinals 31, Eagles 13. The arrow pinpoints Ernie McMillan's key block to spring Bill Thornton loose for a final big red touchdown. Combined with a Cleveland defeat, St. Louis moves to within a game and a half of the Browns in the Eastern Conference by beating the Eagles 38-13.